Hey guys, Erica here coming to you week three of COVID-19 and just wanted to bring you our latest update. First of all, I just want to say to all of our awesome clients and friends that we just, we really miss all of you and are just loving the um, response and support that we're getting. And I know this is challenging times for all of us and I just love hearing and seeing the way that we're all supporting each other and kind of pulling together and figuring it out day by day as we're all kind of trying to um, do our best in this challenging time. And that's definitely what we're doing. We're still kind of uncertain of our reopening time. Um, we're definitely just following the government um, guidelines and their recommendations for um, what we should be doing as far as staying home and staying safe and um, and the businesses shut down so we're just keep checking that information and we want to keep you posted so I'll definitely be coming on here at least every week to kind of keep you updated and um, and see where we're at so keep in touch with us on Facebook and Instagram and then we will continue to do a weekly newsletter and that will have kind of our latest information as we know when we can reopen. We have a list of clients that we've had to cancel your appointments or people that have called in that would like to get an appointment and we are gonna get right on calling you in order of, of how that has come in and how we've had to cancel appointments and we will get you guys on the books. All of us are just super ready and wanting to work again. And and so we will get to that as quickly as we can. And so just, you know, keep hanging in there. I know um, as the weeks are going on, it's probably getting to be a challenge. I know for some of us with our roots, with our color and stuff. So, you know, that's where, let us help you reach out to us if you need, um, email me, uh, Facebook message me. Um, one of us will get back to you. There's, you know, the root spray that I've talked about and I use that. That definitely really helps. Wearing a ponytail, teasing your hair. There's a lot of different little, you know, tricks that we can do. And, you know, then there's also the fact that we're all kind of stuck at home. So, you know, somewhat, you know, let that, let that color grow out a little bit. Let's, you know, see if maybe we can work you into a more natural look once we get through this and get you back into the salon. I just definitely, you know, want to encourage everyone to save your roots for us. We want to help you with this and, um, you know, trying to color your hair at home or using box color and stuff I know is super tempting right now, but it in the long run could cause you a lot more cost and a lot more work in getting your hair back to where you want it to be. Doing um, some conditioning treatments, um, letting those roots grow out a little bit, and let's see, maybe we have a new color plan for you after this, and um, that can bring us some options with that as well. And I know the other struggle is people that have bangs. Um, I'm not quite there yet, but as they start growing out, um, you know, there's tricks on kind of pushing them to the side, let the bangs grow out. Maybe let's see if, you know, not having bangs or growing them out once might be an option. Messages that I'm getting from clients that really helps um, keep me encouraged and in contact with you guys. And, you know, I definitely am thinking about you all and wanting to know that you're healthy and safe and doing well right now. So any of those little messages definitely mean a lot to me and I really appreciate that. So um, I just also want to update you um, during this time when we're kind of just shut down and not having a lot to do kind of what are you know we doing at home and um, for myself I'm really kind of working on my thoughts as far as the business moving forward after this there's going to be I think you know a lot of different practices and a lot of different needs from people and and what what we want for our health and our safety and so I'm really considering all of those things I'm doing some online um, business training with some of the industry leaders to kind of get some of their ideas and thoughts on that too. So I am doing some kind of rebranding, probably changing up the look a little bit and some of our systems and how we um, do things for um, safety and health standards as I think we'll see those kind of um, get a little higher expectation on that. So I want to 
be ready to meet that and be able to have an environment that you all are going to definitely feel safe to come into and get back to getting your hair done. So that's definitely important to me and what I'm working on personally. And then I know my stylist, they're kind of using this time to do some online education. We don't always have a ton of time to tap into our education and stuff and there's a lot of industry um, trainers and educators that are doing some great wonderful online training so um, all of my stylists are really taking advantage of that right now so it's they're going to come back kind of you know ready and strong to go and maybe having some new ideas and some new ways of doing things um, to offer to people so and some um, things to do when we're not able to work because we all really love doing hair and love our time with our clients and so um, finding these things to keep us positive and keep us going and have us be ready to come back strong and that is definitely our plan um, we just we're here for you email us message us let us know what you need um, in the newsletter coming out there's the options for our online stores where you can buy some of these products that maybe could help you otherwise um, just reach out to me so I definitely will stay in touch be watching for me on uh, Facebook and Instagram I'm gonna try to start doing some little live videos um, and posting some things on there for you guys to keep in connection so um, I look forward to seeing everyone hopefully soon stay safe stay healthy